What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here uh, with an update video on this Thursday evening, November 18th, 2021, about 5.20 p.m. California time. And it uh, looks like a uh, 2.7 earthquake striking up in the Aleutian or in the Alaska area, northern Alaska for the, uh, oh, I take that back. It's kind of around the, uh, looks like west of anchorage area it looks like either way alaska for the latest earthquake there on the globe let's go ahead and check out uh, all the activity taking place over the last 24 hours seen uh, quite a bit of uh movement striking around the papua new guinea area where they've seen a 6.2 earthquake and uh, a little bit of aftershock sequences following up uh, from that earthquake this morning which struck uh early this morning 34 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake and uh, looks like an aftershock of 5.4 63 kilometers uh, to the northwest of that main shake a bit of deeper movement uh, following that earthquake this morning so we're still kind of keep an eye on this area we have seen some deeper movement uh, and some activity on the uptick around the indonesia area so uh, kind of keep an eye on some heightened movement in that region over here around the tonga area we did see a 480 deep uh, 480 kilometer deep, 4.5. Uh, some pretty deep movement taking place there in that region. Uh, let's go ahead and check out along the Aleutian Trench since I mentioned that earlier. Looks like some activity ramping up there, including a 5.2 earthquake. Looks uh, pretty deep into the Aleutian Trench here, 54 kilometers for that 5.2. Also some activity further to the east and to the north into the subduction zone as well, 3.8 and a 4.2 in that uh, region of the Aleutian Trench. As we work our way down the west coast here, some activity kicking up uh, mainly in Southern California, Nevada area. Uh, right now, looks like there was a 1.8 earthquake, pretty shallow quake into the uh, Washington area, just southeast of Seattle. Other than that, things are relatively quiet uh, still in the Pacific Northwest, but that's not the case down here in the southern half of Southern California. So movement uh, right around the Bootjack, California area, southward. It looks like Ridgecrest area uh, and some uh, a little cluster of quakes very close to the Garlock Fault structure. A little bit of migration here. Uh, we're kind of watching, uh, getting pretty close to that Garlock Fault structure. No major quakes at the moment down there in Southern Cal, but definitely a noticeable sign of increased pressure uh, throughout the southern part of California. A little bit of swarming going on off, uh, out in the Santa Barbara Channel as well. You can see Ventura that sits over here along the coastline. Uh, this activity, just uh, some microquakes, pretty shallow movement. Uh, looks like uh, looks like the largest quake so far is a 2.9. This right here would be considered a swarm. Uh, it's kind of like an earthquake swarm, if you will. I don't see any main shaker at the moment. 2.9, yes, it is the largest magnitude so far, but not uh, not counting out uh, possibly seeing something bigger uh, in this area of the uh, of the state. It looks like it's off the Oak. What is this? The Oak Ridge. Let's see if I can get this thing to pop up. Just kind of being uh, being a little odd. Oak Ridge Fault. There it is. Um. So yeah, just off to the west of that fault structure, it looks like. So just kind of keep an eye on that little unusual swarm out there in the Pacific. But uh, overall, a seismic increase in pressure in the southern part of California, like I mentioned. Nevada seen some activity as well. It looks like the Tonopah or northwest of Tonopah, a little bit of activity. Nothing compared to what we had seen last month. But uh, things still kind of rocking out there in the microquake department. Throughout uh, Arizona, New Mexico, pretty quiet. Pecos, Texas, Oklahoma, all kind of quiet as well. We did see some further movement around the New Madrid area. Of course, we had that 4.0 that struck uh, near Williamsville, Missouri, uh, yesterday, shaking things up around the New Madrid area. And it uh, looks like there was a little 2.5 aftershock sequence that occurred shortly thereafter. This is, of course, the all magnitudes there. Down south here, a little bit further away from that four-pointer, but still somewhat close and around the New Madrid area, a 2.9 near Prattsville, Arkansas, that occurred a little bit, er a little bit earlier today um, at 8.9 kilometers. So around the New Madrid area, looking at uh, some 
seismic increase pressure for sure. Uh, looking at the southern parts here, <clears throat> around the Middle America Trench, seeing the swarm of activity off the coast of Guatemala, uh, including a 5.8 earthquake into the Middle America Trench. You can see the depth of these earthquakes here, indicating that uh, subduction zone earthquake activity. I believe this is uh, uh, so far a 4.7, the largest uh, aftershock in that region. Uh, further down south here, around the, uh, what do we got here, Panama area, well south of Panama, 5.2, and a little earthquake there around Ecuador, 4.5. Further down south into the South America region, some subduction zone earthquake around the Chile area in Argentina with a 201, deep, 201 kilometer deep, 4.5. Uh, a lot of deep movement here recently over the last week or so you can see all that activity mostly confined uh, in this region of course deep earthquake activity contributing or will contribute to uh, a lot of buildup and pressure here at the subduction zone surface region uh, but uh, for now just deep earthquake activity adding on to the uh, to the likelihood of a larger earthquake there around the uh, around the peru chile trench over here in the mediterranean sea region north of there Around Greece, 4.4, 10 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake, and also some movement around Iran uh, with a another 4.4 in that region of the world. Uh, Japan still remaining really quiet. There is some um, further deep movement. Uh, there's that 5.0. Some further deep movement into the Philippine Plate area. Uh, Mariana Trench, kind of a major player in some deep earthquakes and also some large earthquakes as well. 155 kilometers for that 4.4 striking in that region of the world looking at the Hawaii Hawaiian area Hawaii the big island some movement along the southeast flank once again uh, looks like typical earthquake activity on any given day there nothing uh, unusual at the moment around the big island uh, looking at the Yellowstone region Yellowstone National Park things real really quiet as well uh, looking at uh, little bit of movement it looks like here this could be interference as I'm thinking this is interference looking at uh, I don't see any other activity on these stations here I believe it's just these two Pelican Cove and Mirror Lake uh, that's just showing some interference and they all look the same there's no difference in the um, the seismic uh, readings here so I believe it's technical um, adjustments or some type of uh, uh, interference. Other than that, there's no, I don't see any microquake activity there at Yellowstone National Park. Things looking uh, extraordinarily quiet as we speak. Trimmer, I don't believe, has been updated. Let's go ahead and check that out. Zero epicenter so far uh, on the 18th. But it doesn't surprise me that uh, uh, the trimmers have gone quiet once again. Um, up in the sky tonight, some of you folks that are, um, that will have clear skies so get to see the, uh, well, Lunar eclipse. That's always nice to see. Looks like uh, one of the long, or at least according to these folks here, and I've seen it all over the place, the longest partial lunar eclipse in more than 600 years. Uh, the action begins November 18th at 11.19 p.m. That's Pacific time. The moon touches Earth's deep red uh, um umbral shadow for the next three and a half hours. The full moon, uh, the full moon be eclipsed. Wait a minute. Am I reading that right? The full moon B eclipse, okay, maybe a little typo there with these folks, with a peak coverage of about 97%. So that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, here in California, we got uh, cloudy skies and some rain coming in, so we're not looking at uh, any chance of seeing that later this evening. Uh, let's see, what makes this eclipse so long? The moon is near... Uh, Man, I, I forgot how to pronounce that, but that's okay. The farthest point in its orbit orbit around Earth, uh, because the moon moves so slowly, it takes longer to cross. Okay, I don't need to explain all of that, but this will be the longest partial lunar eclipse since February 18th, 1440. whole lot going on in that year, and we won't get a longer one until it looks like 2,669. That's uh, it's pretty crazy. Really crazy, uh, if you think about it. So if you have clear skies, make sure you get out and check it out. 
and uh, maybe take some pictures, if you will. But uh, unfortunately, here for us here in California, things are overcast and cloudy with uh, some rain showers coming in. But uh, get out there and check it out if you can. It's well worth it. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, I think solar weather is pretty quiet for the most part. Uh, looks like all the sunspots here are just pretty sim simplified. And uh, no really major threat of any type of flaring. Looks like just a 10% chance of a sea flare. It's very, very minimal uh, in the way of solar activity goes. Uh, no major coronal holes facing us. A couple smaller ones down to our south, the earth-facing side. But overall, things look uh, pretty quiet here over the next few days for the solar weather uh, happening there on the sun. All right, folks, um, which have a good night. Stay safe out there. Things getting kind of interesting on the, on the uh, earthquake uh, map here uh, with all the deep movement and some uh, activity off the coast of, uh, of uh, Southern California there with that swarming. Even though it's older, still uh, been kind of watching that. Of course, a lot of that microquake activity not showing up here on the earthquake 3D globe. Maybe it looks like maybe one or two, but... Uh, of course, this is 2.5 and above on the map. Have a good night, guys. We will chat you a little bit later. Stay safe.